Hi guys, welcome to my mini series Natural Automation on Path to AI QA Engineering. If you have seen my earlier videos in the YouTube live series, I talked about an introduction about the Path to AI QA Engineering and why AI QA Engineering is so much important and how the uh, QA Engineering landscape is transforming towards artificial intelligence. It's not just about using the toolings, but it's also about how you can test an application which is built using the large language models and capabilities. And we have also talked about uh, how we can make these Selenium or Playwright tests smarter using the power of large language models. We, uh, we, we discuss about those things in the YouTube live video series. But this video is kind of an extension of those two videos. So this is still going to be an AI QA engineering series, but this is not YouTube live series video, but this is uh, pretty much like something that I really wanted to cover so that this video can actually lead you uh, to the path to the AI QA engineering that we have discussed even before. So in this video, we are gonna basically talk about the large language model evaluations from complete basic to advanced. That is the entire idea of this particular video. So you will understand the power of the large language models evaluation and how this is so crucial for uh, testing an large language model based application. It can be an application built using uh, the Langchain for uh, uh, an RAG application, or it can be a chatbot, or it can be anything that you can name it, but anything which is related to large language model evaluation is super duper important. And that's what we're gonna be discussing in this particular video. Well, as that said, you can see that artificial intelligence is really rapidly evolving. We all know that. And it is super important that we evaluate these large language model. And in order to unlock the full potentials of this model, evaluations and optimizations are a crucial part. And this is where the prompt evaluation comes in and it's often called as evalves, and this is very, very crucial. And that is what we are gonna be discussing in this particular video. And this is the truth. This is something that I have taken as a source from the cloud. The inability for the team to measure the performance of their model is the biggest blocker of production use case for large language models and also makes prompting an art instead of a science. And even though evals takes a lot of time, Doing them upfront will save developers time in long run and results in better product getting out much smoother. This is, this is quite important. You can see that evaluation is really, really important. And also prompt engineering is now considered as an art instead of a science because you can't just put something there, the name it, and you can just write some code to make it happen. But it has to be done in a common sense and also in a business fashion. That is what is the uh, is the way that the prompt engineering and evaluation is seen uh, as one of the most important criteria while you do the evaluation of large language models. Well, as I said, what is the reason uh, that this evaluation is taking uh, in picture uh, these days? Well, there are two main reasons for developers who are not really writing the evaluations. The one is Many people are unfamiliar with the idea of the uh, evaluation, and it's also very unclear of how to actually implement these evaluations. So these are the two categories, which is something making the evaluation quite harder. And even people think that evaluation is kind of not necessary. But evaluation of a large language model is super duper crucial. And that is what I have shown over here as an example, and the reason why evaluation is falling behind. Well, as I said, we now know that the evaluation is one of the most super important component that we have to understand. And not only that, these are the benefits of evaluation right away. The first one is iterative prompts improvement. So every time you do evaluation, uh, it may not work as expected. So if you keep on iterating through this evaluation again and again with your large language model, your large language model will either start understanding it and start responding it correctly, or fine tuning your evaluation criteria will make these large language model to respond as expected. So that is the iterative prompt improvement. Another one is, if you do the QA of these evaluation before and after deployment, it is gonna be very, very helpful to see how progression you have made. And also these evaluation will help you to do the model comparison for the objective, whether it has achieved it or not. Finally, 
doing a better evaluation is going to be a cost saving for your company because you will not end up doing uh, like spending more time in fixing the hallucination that your application is going to generate because of the large language model. So evaluation is really, really important. So these are the benefits that you are going to get outright. How do we actually do this evaluation? We understand that evaluation is super important. We, we got the benefits of it, but how to do this evaluation? Well, this is the entire evaluation process, as you can see in a nutshell. Well, you can write as a manual test engineer, or automation test engineer, never mind. You can write a lot of different test cases. It's pretty much like the classical test that we write uh, for the softwares. But in here, the test cases are not more like uh, like a traditional code based on a specific tool, but it's more common sense. So you're going to write uh, like a manual test, uh, like a prompt or even you can write a lot of different texts and then you will make sure that these really works as expected. We'll talk about how we're gonna write the tests and things later uh, in this particular mini series that I'm talking about, but test cases are very, very important. It can be automated, it can be manual, it depends. And then once you write these test cases, it is gonna be going as a prompt to evaluate our large language model application. So this is where the eval really runs for us. And this, as I told you, it's going to be like an iterate you process. The first time you write the test case, the answer may not be correct. So you will get a different answer. So you're going to write one more uh, uh, test case, one more prompt to make sure that the evaluation always yields the correct result every single time after that. So that is where this evaluation comes in picture. And once you see that the, the evaluation works as expected, for your test cases, then you can deploy these prompts and you can make sure that the language model also has got all the necessary fine tuning before it goes to production. So that is how this whole entire uh, evaluation process really happens. Now you may ask, so Karthik, what exactly is this test case going to look like? Like how is this test case is going to look like and what what goes inside this test case so that we can know that uh, this test case has got uh, the necessary information that I can feed in for the large language model. Well, your large language model for evaluation will need these inputs. So it's going to have an input data, uh, which is going to be a question like, what is the uh, capital of India, which is the input data. And you will have a golden data, which is the expected result. So the capital of India, it's New Delhi. So you're going to put the expected result as New Delhi there. And then the model output. So this is where the actual model output comes in. So you're gonna do this as an actual output and the golden data is gonna be like an expected output. So you're gonna compare this model output versus the actual, uh, sorry, the actual output versus the expected output and you will see how the things are gonna be working in this case. And then if you're gonna be using some toolings in your large language models, so you will also can verify the tools output. And then you can also see if the right tool is being selected with this large language model uh, while doing this evaluation. So you can also verify those as well. So you can do the tool output and tool selections and things. Finally, you can also get a score. Let's say how close is your model evaluating those results? Like how much accuracy, like 89% is accuracy or 100% is accuracy. How much percentage of accuracy are the scores that you are going to get from that particular response using that large language model? So you can get that score as well. So it's, there are many different types of scores available, like F1 score, Rogue, Blue, like that. So those things will come in picture over here as well. So these are the these are the different kinds of input that you're going to be doing or giving and then expecting from the large language model while you write these test cases. That is how the evaluation process is going to look like over here. Well, as I said, uh, there are different types of evaluation available. One is the human-based evaluation or human-based grading and then coding-based evaluation or coding-based grading or large language model-based evaluation or large language model as a judge. So these are the different types of evaluation we really have. And I have really covered about all these information in way better detail in my course. Uh, this one, as you can see over here, the test AI and large language model application with the deep eval, Ragas and hugging face evaluate and more using uh, Olama and uh, large language models in offline really. So you can see that you can see in this course, we have got like how you can uh, do the evaluations. You can understand the basics of the uh, evaluations and doing it with the deep eval tool. Uh, 
and how you can create the data sets and how you can do the testing with the uh, RAG applications and also how you can test the AI agents and all those informations are really uh, available in this particular course. And if you really want to go a level further, you can also do uh, the uh, the building of your large language models and applications using Langchain in this particular course. This course has got even more detail that you can learn about how you can do all these things. So you can understand the basic workings of these applications because now these applications are not like a classical applications or like a web applications or a mobile application, but these are and large language model based applications like AI applications, you need to understand how these systems are built so that we can test them efficiently. So that is what is really covered in these courses. But if you really want to go even a level further to do a fine tuning of your large language model, you can also learn it from here. If you just want to restrict yourself to generative AI, then we also have got a course for, uh, over here. So these are the different types of course that I really have, which covers all this information already, if you really wanted to learn more detail immediately. Well, as I said, coming back to our discussion, these are the different kinds of evaluation that we can do over here. So let's talk about this human-based evaluation or human-based grading a bit. So when it comes to tasks that needs a bit of a human touch or a subjective opinions really, human grading is still the best way to go because this means like you're going to have like all the peoples who are experts in the field for example you're going to be doing some medical evaluations of your large language model you need to have probably doctor in place who can assess it best because a test engineer may not have all the information or knowledge to assess a medical output which is generated by this large language model and similarly if there is a, a if a person who is going to be talking about something like neuroscience uh, or maybe um, or maybe something like genetically um, or maybe something which is related to genetics or uh, maybe uh, maybe artificial intelligence or something like that like all these are very very crucial that the engineer should know before they also do the evaluation. So human grade evaluation is quite amazing in this area. So that's the reason why human based evaluation is still one of the most relevant way of doing the evaluation of your large language model. And the next approach we have is called as the code based evaluation. So here in the code based grading or code based evaluation, we employ programmatic method to assess the model's output. So this approach as it names is particularly suitable uh, to have verification of some repetitive task as quick as possible so you can do employ the code to do these operation but again with this approach you will always see that the code based evaluation is just going to check some similarities of the code uh, of the responses from the uh, from the large language model and from your uh, golden answers or the golden input something like you're going to just do like a pattern matching or regular expression matching or maybe some string comparison. So those kind of things that you can do using this code based evaluation. So basically, uh, if you see the human based evaluation, the human has to go and manually verify each and everything. But over here with the code based evaluation, a program is going to do it for you. So you will just pretty much like how we do with the automation testing. That's what exactly is going to happen with the code based evaluation for you. So that's about the code based evaluation that we have got. The final thing is the large language model based evaluation. This is amazing. This is one of the most important part of this entire discussion that I'm talking about. But nevertheless, this is amazing as I told you. The large language model based uh, evaluation is going to be like a mid tier like or middle between both the code based evaluation and human based uh, evaluation. So this approach employs another large language model as a judge to evaluate the output of another large language model. So you will see that here LLM is going to do the evaluation of an LLM's output. You may think Karthik, you know what? I don't really believe that because LLMs might re reply something which is not the other LLM can uh, can understand. So what will happen in that case? So in here, we are going to use a large language model, which is more mature, capable, tested, and it knows things. Only those kind of large language model we are going to be employing to verify the output of this large language model. And LLM also has the context because it has the golden inputs. It takes that. It also gets all the context from our questions. And finally, it also employs some toolings, if that matter. And then it's going to go and verify the output from your 
other large language model. That is how the evaluation really kicks in. So this approach is going to be helpful for you to evaluate uh, evaluate not only using the code-based approach, but also is going to employ the human evaluation in place because you will have every single information with this large language model. Well, as I said, finally, this large language model as a judge-based approach has got a lot of different validation. So this is something that I have taken from the deep eval website, as you can see over here. We can do evaluations of the RAG metrics like answer relevancy, faithfulness, contextual precisions, contextual recall, contextual relevancy. Uh, and then uh, we can also do the agentic metrics like toolings, uh, tool correctness, task completion, conversational metrics like G eval uh, and role adherence. We can also test bias, toxicity, summarization, prompt alignment, hallucination, you name it. There are so many things which has uh, already uh, been evaluated using these tools as I'm showing you over here. Once again, these are the tools which I have already covered in my Udemy courses. So please go ahead and watch there. It has got all the information that you need to evaluate your large language model. With the power of these tools, you can see everything's going to be taken care for you. Well, as I said, this is the entire theoretical aspects of the power of the evaluations of large language models. We are going to see how we can do the human evaluation in our next video in this particular series to see how we can do all these evaluation uh, with the power of the toolings which is provided by the Cloud or OpenAI and Gemini. We can explore those options. I will show you how to write test cases and things. But for that, you need to stay tuned until our next video. But if you really want to jump in and understand things more quickly and understand even more deeper, I suggest you to go through my other courses. Well, as that said, Thank you so much for watching this video. You guys have a great day.